All right, so the cool thing about staccato is this plate here. Uh, it's got the, the rear iron sight already attached to it. So um, you just go in to this hole, the rear iron sight, take that screw out, and that kind of reveals, you know, the milling here. Um, the next really interesting thing is this is the new plate. So when you call staccato or you order, you're like, okay, I'm shooting a RMR or Acro or whatever. They sell you this plate and it will have the correct height iron sight to go with whatever optic you're choosing. And the optic, in this case, the hollow sun, sits into this little area right here. And then the two screws from staccato, a little bit longer uh, than normal, and they will actually go through the hollow sun and through the plate. So if you look at how much uh, depth we're getting here, they'll go and it's gonna, you're gonna get that much thread into your slide, which is, that's really good. Um, the last thing on this that's kind of cool, I hope I can do this with one hand because I'm, I'm literally sitting here beside my bike on a range putting this together because uh, just the way it is traveling. So Staccato does a really good fit here. So, so if you if you look at these little lips on the front, little guys right there, we're gonna put this in here and you'll actually hear it kind of snap down. That little snap right there you just heard. So now it's it's super tight in there. And now the hollow cell will just go in there. We'll put some blue Loctite on there, tighten it down. All right, so now I tightened everything down. So you can see the two screws right there. Again, they went through the hollow sun and then through the staccato plate into the frame. Use blue Loctite. Now that's a 330 seconds Allen. Um, I, I use the long axis. I don't ever fold it to 90. That's too much torque. You, I've seen guys break the screw heads and I've also seen them just strip it out. Um, so as Indian Larry once told me, if you need a torque wrench, you probably haven't been doing it enough, but I would go less than more because you're gonna end up screwing the thing up. So now if we look at it, the hollow sun has a pretty low base to it. And again, that iron sight, it may not look like it, but because of the ramp in the back, um, I can get um, backup iron sights. So if you look through here, backup irons are easily attainable uh, these are stock height irons with, with a hollow sun. So a really good setup there. So number two now is set up and we're going to go zero. We'll talk about zeroing next.